I'm here. This is part two of uh, switching views. In this in this short uh, part, we're going to show you how to just add a transition effect to it. Right now, when we click back and forth, we're switching between two different um, two different views. However, it's it's not very slick. We want to make it look a little cooler, add a little uh, flash to it. And uh, UI view has a built-in transition effect, and it also can transition views out. So um, let's. Um, Let's hop into our uh, switching views view controller.m and you should have your code that looks like this. And so in between, right below where we're adding the view, we want to add a transition effect. So let's do UI view, uh, begin animations. Uh, we don't need ID, but we'll just call it uh, flip view. Uh, contacts will be nil. All right. Now we need to add a UI view set animation duration. So you guys should be familiar with some of these. We've done these animations before, but this time we're not animating an object. We're animating a view. Uh, let's do set oops, UI view set animation curve. And as remember, the curve takes a UI view. Uh, animation um, once again I'm using escape a lot because I forget how to spell these things and I forget what they're called but uh, UI view will do ease in and ease out uh, and then finally we need to set UI view we need to set the animation transition uh, animation transition down here and we need to set the style, and it takes a UI animation transition. So UI view animation. So see these there's animation transition curl up, curl down, flip from left to right. We're going to do flip from left to right. And then for view, we want it to do self.view. And cache, yes. Uh, square bracket. And semicolon. Okay, so this is telling us we have an animation that's two seconds long. Uh, we've set a nice little animation curve, so it starts slowly and ends slowly. And then we've set our animation type, our transition effect. Now the last thing we have to do is commit them. UI view, commit animations. Now the commit animations is always on the bottom of the, the animation that you want it, want to occur. Okay, so so if we test that, let's do build and run, and when we click this, it should switch, and there it goes. It's just switched out. But go back is is a snapping because we didn't put an animation on that. But this that animates nicely. So let's put an animation on the back button. Uh, the back button is in second view controller dot m. So here's, here's our function here, the uh, back sender. Uh, we we're removing it from the super view. Why don't you grab the code that we just wrote that's in the switching view controller? This whole block, copy this, copy that, and go to the .m of the second view controller. And then right there, let's paste it. But remember, this on line 16 here, well, on mine it's 16. Um, this is for the previous one. We need to animate this. We need to remove it from subview. So delete this line, and then you want to move the remove from subview in between the two, because this is the that's the animation we want to occur. Uh, the only other thing we'll change is let's change the animation duration to one second, and let's do a different effect. Instead of transitioning from flip from left to right, let's do a UI view uh, transition let's do a curl down this is a different built-in uh, effect uh, now we've got that set command b to test make sure there's no errors and build and run okay so our switch view so that works the same but then this should have a different effect oh didn't work so what is going on there ui view Animation transition, curl up. Uh, 
animation UI animation transition. What's going on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, we also have to change this to view dot super view. That's telling it because we're removing it from the super view. So we have to have this animation applied to the super view. Um, so the, that's the trick. So let's do build and run. And here we go. That animation works. And then this one, there it goes. It curled away. And it curls away. Yeah. So once again, when you're, so on this one, the main view controller, we're just adding it to the stage. And for, for this, this parameter here, for view, it's this, the self view. But in, in the second controller, because we've loaded it inside of the other one, we need to reference, we need the animation to take place on the containing view, the super view. Otherwise, the animation won't affect the right, the right view. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. In part three, I'm going to show you how to add a few sound effects to this, and uh, we'll just finish up our little app, um, our two-view app. Okay.